Apple releases iOS 11 High Sierra, the iMac gets a hefty update and a pro model, some new hardware, the HomePod speaker, and more. It's Monday, June 5th, and this is Crunch Report. What up, TechCrunch land? It is Apple's WWDC, and we are here bringing you all the goods. You might be wondering, Tito, why are you sitting on a bench in a park? Well, you know, sometimes your day doesn't go as planned. You can't get the shot you were trying to get. Things fall apart, but we don't give up here. And so I found a park bench, and now I'm bringing you the news. So here it is. iOS 11 is just jam-packed with so many updates. I'm just gonna touch on some of them. Siri gets language translation and a new voice, both male and female. Apple Pay gets a big convenient update, peer-to-peer -peer payments. I'm pumped about that one. HomeKit gets updates that now let you connect speakers. You now have different effects you can use with live photos like looping or bouncing a live photo. There was a demo that showed AR capabilities that were quite impressive with ARKit. And the Apple App Store gets a complete redesign. I can't list everything, but that should wet your palate regarding all the updates you can see in iOS 11. It's nice out here. Apple today updated their iMac line and they have packed some power into the new computers. All of the models will be getting new GPUs. The base 21.5 inch iMac will have an Intel Iris Plus Graphics 640 with a 64 megabyte eDRAM. The iMac Retina 4K 21.5 inch will have a Radeon Pro 555 or 560 and the Powerhouse 5K 27 inch iMac will come with a Radeon Pro 570, 575 or 580 with up to eight gigabytes of VRAM. If all of that sounds like a bunch of cray cray talk, it basically means they have been updated and more powerful. Apple today also unveiled the iMac Pro. There haven't been any big updates to the Mac Pro line in a while besides a small one recently, and this was an answer to that. The iMac Pro comes with an Intel Xeon processor, and depending on how many cores you need, you can get 8, 10, or 18 of them. The GPU is a Radeon Vega setup with up to 16 gigabytes of VRAM. Great for developers, especially in VR. You can also get up to 120 gigabytes of RAM. Damn! In iPad news, Apple dropped a new iPad Pro with a thinner bezel and a larger 10.5 inch screen. I could go really go for a drink right now. The previous version was 9.7 inches. 13 inch Pro is getting a processor update and a better screen that will have a higher refresh rate and true tone display for HDR. The device is expected to maintain the same battery life as the previous version. On the laptop front, everything got processor updates to Cabby Lake and SSDs got a speed boost. Otherwise, not too much here. No extra USB-C port on MacBooks. Oh, and the MacBook Air still exists. Apple gave us a taste of its home device for the first time today on the stage of WWDC. Are you ready? Here it is. It's going by the ever so slightly awkward name HomePod and coming equipped with a seven beam forming tweeter array, a custom made woofer, and an Apple A8 chip. It's gonna come in white and space gray and cost $349. We can't really make up our minds yet, whether it's a Sonos competitor or an Echo Home competitor, but whatever it is, very Apple. Of course, it integrates with Siri, but the device is being marketed as a speaker for listening to music rather than an intelligent assistant in a box. I need to let this simmer in my head for a bit, but if you suspend disbelief, the idea of delivering a product, not a technology, makes a lot of sense. My hang up for now is that I can't say home audio is the optimal product market fit, but hey, if I'm making speakers right now, I'm concerned. AirPods don't even sound as good as competing Bluetooth headphones, but Apple's execution made them instantly formidable. Watch for the same here. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy, coming to you from a bench on a park next to WWDC. The lighting just didn't work out. It wouldn't let me into the area. I'm not cool enough to get a badge. Maybe next year. <laughs> Crunch Report is every week at 7 p.m. Eastern. 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. And maybe we'll see you tomorrow from another bench or we'll see you tomorrow from the studio. I don't know. Peace.